Floribeth Mora Diaz's story is a compelling testament to faith and the belief in miracles within the Catholic tradition. Her healing, which played a pivotal role in the canonization of Pope John Paul II, remains one of the most extraordinary contemporary miracles recognized by the Catholic Church. Floribeth Mora Diaz, a Costa Rican woman, was leading a normal life with her family until April 2011 when she was struck by a sudden and severe headache. The pain was so intense that she saw immediate medical attention. After a series of tests, doctors delivered devastating news. Floribeth had an inoperable brain aneurysm. The aneurysm was located in a place that made surgical intervention impossible and the prognosis was grim. The doctors informed her that she had only about a month to live. This diagnosis plunged Floribeth and her family into despair. As a devout Catholic, she turned to her faith for solace. During this period, Pope John Paul II, who had passed away in 2005, was in the process of beautification. Floribeth, along with many others, had a deep admiration for John Paul II, who was known for his charismatic leadership and spiritual depth. She began praying fervently for his intercession, seeking a miracle. On May the 1st, 2011, the day of John Paul II's beautification, Floribeth's condition had worsened to the point where she was bedridden. Her family gathered around her. They all prayed for divorce intervention. That morning, something extraordinary happened. As Floribeth laid in her bed, she gazed at a magazine cover featuring Pope John Paul II. She later recounted feeling an overwhelming sense of peace and hearing a voice telling her to get up and do not be afraid. Despite her condition, she found the strength to rise from her bed. Her family was astonished. Over the next following days, over the following days and weeks, Floribeth continued to improve. A follow-up medical examination revealed that the aneurysm had completely disappeared, a development that her doctors could not explain. The medical community was baffled as such, a spontaneous and complete healing defied all scientific understanding. The miraculous nature of her recovery was evident to those who had witnessed her condition and subsequent healing. Floribeth's case was meticulously investigated by the Vatican as part of a canonization process for John Paul II. The process of verifying a miracle involves rigorous scrutiny, including consultations with medical experts and philologians. In Floribeth's case, the medical documentation provided clear evidence of the severity of her condition and the inexplicable nature of her recovery. The investigation concluded that, concluded that there was no scientific explanation for her healing, thus affirming it as a miracle attributed to the intercession of Pope John Paul II. On the 27th of April 2014, Pope John Paul II was canonized as a saint by Pope Francis, with Floribeth Mora Diaz's miraculous healing serving as one of the key miracles required for his sainthood. Floribeth attended the canonization ceremony at the Vatican, where she shared her story with the world, expressing her deep gratitude for the miracle that had saved her life. Her presence at the ceremony underscored the profound impact of this event, not only on her life, but also on the broader Catholic community. Floribeth's healing continues to inspire countless people around the world. Her story is a beacon of hope for those facing seemingly insurmountable challenges, illustrating the power of faith and the possibility for miracles. For Floribeth, the experience reinforced her devotion and deepened her spiritual journey. She has since become a vocal advocate for faith and the intercessory power of saints, sharing her testimony in various forums to inspire and uplift others. The healing of Floribeth Mora Diaz stands as a modern miracle, a powerful reminder of the mysterious and transcendent aspects of human existence. It bridges the realms of faith and science, challenging our understanding of what is possible. While skeptics may seek rational explanations, for believers, her story is a testament to the divine and the enduring power of faith. It exemplifies the profound impact that spiritual belief can have on our lives, offering a narrative of hope, resilience, and the extraordinary potential of human experience when touched by the divine.